Pinky promise. We'll get you sleeping in no time. I have all the time in the world to spend. We're going to take things really, really slow. And I want you to, whenever you feel like it, just close your eyes. If you're feeling a little bit heavy lidded, that's absolutely fine. Okay. We're just gonna help you sleep. Don't resist. I know it can be tempting to resist that drowsy eyelids falling down experience. But no resisting if you feel that you need to just close your eyes. So I'm gonna light a little candle and we're gonna do a little bit of breathing and meditation teeny amount to get you ready for tonight. keep continuing that if you wish. You'll feel your body just start down that path of relaxation and it'll start to get heavier and heavier and heavier. Who we are gonna do next? A little bit of full body where we're going to do it with touch. So, we're going to start from your toes and I'm going to touch them. It's going to be like, touch. Um, we're going to work our way all the way up to your face and I'm going to give you a series of instructions and you just need to follow exactly what I say and we'll get your whole body fully relaxed. Okay? Okay. So beginning with your toes, I want you to scrunch your toes. And when you curl your toes, you'll feel all the muscles of your toes and the soles of your feet. They'll contract and you'll feel them working really hard. 
and then I want you to release and relax and just let them go to sleep okay. and then I want you to flex your fit you'll feel all the muscles of your ankle and your calves contract and then release, relax, say sweet dreams to your uncles. Moving up your leg to your knees, I want you to bend your knees. Feel all the muscles involved in that movement. Feel them, embrace them. And then relax, pop your legs back down straight and say sweet dreams to your knees. Then we're going to move to your thighs. I want you to just gently squeeze your bottom. You'll feel your glutes contract. They are so important and they support you all day, whether you're standing or sitting. So we're going to say night night to your upper legs. Alright, and then we're going to move to your stomach. And I want you to pull in, so suck in tight. You'll feel your abdominal wall contract and all of the wonderful abs that you have there contracting. And then I want you to release and relax and say night night to your tummy. And we're going to move up to your chest. I want you to take a really deep breath, so breathe in. Feel all your intercostal muscles contracting to expand your rib cage and then breathe out. Relax. Night night to your chest. And then we're gonna move onto your shoulders. So I want you to Shrug your shoulders. Try and get them as close to your ear as possible. Okay, and you'll feel your traps and your deltoid and some of these other cool muscles contracting. And then we're just going to say night-night to our shoulders. Night-night. Okay. And then your biceps and your triceps. So I want you to flex your arm at the elbow. Give me your best Popeye impression. Feel the biceps and triceps contract. And then release sweet dreams to your upper arm. And then I want you to flex your wrist like this. And you'll feel the muscles of your lower arm contract. Flex, flex, flex. And then release. Sweet dreams to your lower arm. Okay. And then your hands. I want you to make a fist. And there's so many wonderful muscles that contract to help you get your hands moving and into that fist so we're going to recognize them and then I want you to release and relax my night to your fingers and your hands moving on to your neck I'm going 
to ask you to just put your chin to chest and you'll feel your traps and then lift your head up and you'll feel the muscles of the front of your neck contract and then release back to a center position good night to your neck And then we're going to move up to your face. So we're going to start with the lower portion. I want you to give me your biggest smile. And you will find lots of lower facial muscles contracting. That's it. And then relax. Night, night. To your face. And then up to your eyes. I want you to scrunch your eyes tight. Scrunch and then release sweet dreams to your eyes. And finally, I want you to lift your eyebrows as high as they will go. Feel all the muscles in the upper part of your face and your head contract. And then release night night to your head. Here we are. Your entire body is relaxed and sleeping and just in a beautifully deep trance. I have prepared a new hot water bottle for you this year. is so, so soft and warm and I wanted you to be as cozy as possible so I prepared this for you this was a little gift from my mum for Christmas so I'm excited for you to use this too you'll find lots of comfort Really soft things. So let's take this in beside you. I'm still really cold, so I've been using that hot water bottle to snuggle while I go to sleep. I am somebody that does get very cold at night. I have to wear sleep bed socks because my feet get freezing, my hands get really cold. I must have poor circulation, I think. <laughs> but it makes for a cozy night. Exactly what we're making for you today. A really cozy, cozy little night. Cozy little space to sleep in. And sometimes as well, what I'll do is I'll get into bed earlier. Then I plan to go to sleep with my hot water bottle and then I'll read. So I've been doing reading instead of being on my phone. Um, and it's cozy with a little cup sleep tea or my little beam cocoa powder that I use. Little sleep powders. Cuddled up with a hot water bottle and a book. It's just perfect for winter. <laughs> so, now that you are fully, fully relaxed, I'm just going to apply some facial creams and a little eye balm for bed so we're gonna use this here and I also have this is new too so it's 
So we have a skin night peel as well if you would like this. It's enriched with Himalayan bamboo charcoal and it's a night peel that helps refine appearance of uneven skin texture to reveal smoother feeling skin and a more clarified looking complexion. So you put two to three drops onto dry cleanse skin three times a week in the evenings before you go to bed. So you allow the product to sink in a few seconds before applying your night moisturizer. So let's do this, because I have a couple of other moisturizer bits for you. It does say that the charcoal is a non-staining formula, transforms to a clear liquid on our skin, it feels super lightweight, and made with bamboo charcoal from the Himalayas, and hibiscus flower extract that contains organic acids known to have exfoliating properties, gets to work whilst you sleep, wake up to smoother, smoother and softer feeling skin that looks more luminous and mattified. And it did say, I think it said three nights a week, didn't it? are my new ones from the green people so they're completely non-toxic I'm very much into non-toxic hair care and skincare products at the moment so this is the fruitful nights night cream it's got hibiscus and raspberry as well um so it's rehydrating alcohol free night cream for radiant skin so I love this I definitely find that it helps me and it smells really good as well so we're gonna pop this on top for you because you're gonna wake up with just beautifully glowing skin a scent-free eye cream with avocado and basil in. It's non-irritating and it's anti-aging and it's got seaweed in it, which I love. So we're just going to apply a little amount. Sleep 
and relaxation and they also have bits about travel so I'm gonna start with the kind of facts um, just a little five minutes we'll see if there's anything we can learn and then later on when you're ready to sleep I'm gonna read some of the travel pages because we can imagine some beautiful trips abroad together so let's have a little look now here we go i love this the fresh start effect that's a good option there's ones about strong mind eat smart follow the january one we love lights you up, how to get fit, there's loads of workouts, this beauty lab, what else do we have? We'll maybe do a little on this, the fresh start effect. Everyone's got their own moment when the feeling of renewal lands. And at the start of the new calendar year, we now find ourselves at another auspicious juncture to set goals. Perhaps yours is that crisp New Year's Day walk or having that first cup of coffee on the morning of your birthday. The lure of a fresh chance to be better, smarter, not to mention that new notebook was profound, and that buzz of fresh start energy kicks in each time. So, it says, dub the fresh start effect, you might recognise it as New Year, New You energy. It's a psychological fresh starts where nothing has changed except the calendar. There's no logical reason why your behaviour should change, says Katie McMilkman, who's a professor at the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and the author of How to Change the Science of Getting Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. And yet, research suggests we're influenced by these cycles. Have you ever made a New Year resolution? It amps up your motivation, whereas on any other day, you'd have zero extra imp. The fresh start effect is able to pull off its Jedi-style mind trick, because we think about time in a non-linear way, says Professor Milkman. We think about it as if we're characters in a book and we're living through chapters in our own life story. The beginning of each new chapter creates a discontinuity in your story. Shifting your perception of time's flow, some chapters will span years, such as time spent in a relationship or at university. Others are smaller, like the start of a new project at work. Essentially, these calendar-led readers allow you to turn over a new page. And on the 1st of January, people feel more disconnected from their past self of three days ago than they would on the 3rd of January. When you think your past self is further away, you feel like its failures are less relevant to you, which makes you more willing to begin new things. Fresh start moments also tend to lead us towards more goal-directed thinking, because you recognise that you're at a pivot point. Do you want to continue being the old you, who didn't continue, or who didn't achieve their aspirations last year, or do you want to be the new you who will? And while the new year can feel like the de facto time to set resolutions, there are other moments when the phenomenon kicks in, such as a Monday morning. People always assume, don't they? They're like, oh, I'll do it on Monday. I'll start on Monday. <laughs> so I think that's really good because this is literally what I do as well. I'm like, okay, I 
I've not stuck to my routine, I've not done what I should have done and then you get to the new year and you're like, yes, I'm ready to go again <laughs> so that's definitely me is it you? are you the same? I wonder alright, well we're gonna do a little bit of sleep sprays and I've got some sleep bands as well to help you relax that a little bit further so the sleep spray I have today is from m and it's a new one that I have It's the Sleep Apothecary and it's fragrance with lavender, eucalyptus, vetiver and jasmine They have restful and relaxing qualities so we're just going to spray in and around your pillow and it should just, it'll smell really nice This is to delight and uplift your wonderful spirits and it has sweet orange and spearmint and all we do with this is apply to your temples give it a little rub in and you just breathe in and out and hopefully you will feel the benefits of the bath I love the smell of this it's so fresh Okay, let's do this side first. Get a good amount there. Okay, and then the other side. And we got a good amount there, too. Okay, and then let's just gently. inhaler stick. It is a lavender inhaler sweet night night stick. All you do is put it to the tip of your nose and breathe in that lavender and I want you to do it three times, okay? I'm just gonna put this to the tip of your nose, okay? And I want you to just breathe in and out and breathe in little thing which is a tiny little total de-stress pulse point roller ball and I'm gonna dip this one under your neck to your pressure points here and also to your wrist okay and again you're just gonna let that sink into your skin and we're gonna relax so we're gonna put it under your chin here on this wrist down here and on your other wrist here alright then rub your wrists together like this good and then just leave them face up and do some deep breaths again so breathe in and out Breathe in and out 
and breathe in and out okay now I know that you like some little drawing on your back games so I have a little stick here while you relax I'm going to draw a little picture on your back and then I'll do it in front of your eyes on the third time. So I'll do it twice on your back, third time here, and then you need to tell me what it is. We'll see if you get it. Okay, we'll start easy and then we'll maybe get a little bit harder. Okay. The first one. Any idea what I drew on your back? Draw again. <laughs> Any glue? Sun. <laughs> All right. Let's try another. It's trying to get a really distinct shape. Okay, I have a run. What do you think I dream? Do you for you? See again? What did I draw? <laughs> I drew a lamp. This is the shade. The lamp. Think. Okay, I've got one. Oh, what did I draw? I'll do it again. like this with a little bit of a top it's a banana with a like little stock bit at the top okay let me see if I can think of another mm -hmm. did I draw? Shade. I drew a teacup. There's the cup and the little handle. things in your ear and make a little bit of noise in the other side of your ear and it'll be a little bit inaudible and I want you to guess what word it is I'm saying. I'll repeat the word a few times and I'm going to start with this ear. Okay.
Winter mind and body escapes Bid the seasonal blues goodbye With the help of a breakaway Fangwer Nourishing food, therapeutic treatments and yoga classes Will make you return to feeling healthier and refreshed This You do yoga, gong baths, and meditation in the Spanish hills. It's at the Mass QI Energy House in Banyeres de Mariola, Alicante. So you get full board dining and three daily activities from the board, and you also get a massage or therapy session as um, this retreat aims to be a healing space where guests can tap out of urgency culture, enjoy a few days off grid, reconnect with nature, quiet in the mind, and get back to themselves. The setting definitely helps. It 
is a secluded, serene and surrounded by 360 degree views of the Sierra de Mariola mountains, the lovingly restored 19th century farmhouse, which founder and host calls it the energy house, could not be further away from a British There's just gentle bird song and a mild breeze whistling through the pine trees. They follow a really loose structure. In the morning you'll wake up and sip a herbal tea in bed before padding across the dewy grass for a 90 minute sunrise yoga in the geodesic dome. Then on to breakfast. There's then the treatments, which range from traditional Ayurveda and Chinese medicine to energetic therapies. And upon arrival, you'll have a consultation to suss out how you are feeling and which treatments are most suitable for you. At 5pm every day, guests reconvene in the dome for meditation. And it varies every single day. Some of them use the gong bath, which is as an ancient practice that uses deep variations and sounds or deep vibrations and sounds to stimulate the vagus nerve and reach a state of deep relaxation. And then the food is all macrobiotic, a way of eating that aims to swerve foods containing toxins. There's no meat, dairy, sugar, or refined ingredients, so everything you eat is organic, seasonal, and locally sourced. Breakfast is a three-course affair which starts with a miso soup, which will prepare the body for digestion. Then it's a bowl of rice porridge with fruit, nuts, and seeds, followed by a hunk of homemade toast with pumpkin seed pesto. Lunch and dinner is served on the wide terrace and is equally impressive. Thick charred sweet corn with pickled red cabbage, mackerel and lashings of fresh fruity salsa and smoked tofu with soya and peanut sauce. The desserts are so tasty that it's hard to believe they're dairy and refined sugar free. So that's our first little place to imagine a little retreat. And then where else do we have? It's free diving. Well, there we have got Dubai. This is the spa and sanctuary amid the sand dunes at the Bab Al Sharms and one and only Royal Mirage. So, yes, the Middle Eastern, this is the Middle Eastern playground for the jet set with glitzy skyscrapers and glossy malls. But, if you choose your accommodation carefully, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Leave the high rises behind and check into the Bab Al Shams, a stunning Arabian village style resort tucked away in the sand dunes, around 45 minutes from Dubai. There's it's beautiful, it's puts you into a state of tranquility with melodic fountains, the scent of rose petals wafting through the air and gentle Arabian music. It's literally an oasis in the desert. You can go on to many beautiful activities such as hot air balloon rides, camel treks, fat tire cycling in the dunes, for downtime, you can head to the Desert Wellness Sanctuary to enjoy the opulent spa and sauna or some poolside yoga sessions. At sunset, guests are gravitated to Anwa, a rooftop bar with stunning desert views, followed by dinner at Al Hadira, a magical open-air restaurant where traditional Arabian dancers and musicians provided the entertainment. 
and as you would dine in the incredible hot, messy barbecue meats, seafood salads, and lots of breads. When it comes to Bab al Sharms, it's impossible to leave without feeling calmer than when you arrive. You can also go, if you don't like the sand, you can go to the one and only Royal Mirage with lush gardens or we're looking to buy his iconic Palm Jamaraya. It's a beach paradise but it's a beautiful treat tucked away among the greenery that stretches into the gulf. You can get Oriental Hammam where You'll be washed and massaged using traditional methods on a heated marble slab before being wrapped in fluffy gowns to relax with a cup of Moroccan tea. If you are craving some movement, you can wander to drift to take a hit class for a splashy smiley and above all fun fitness workout. There's also a wellness centre where the cafe boasts the first fully plant-based gluten and cane sugar-free menu in the Middle East. And another healthy hotspot is Louis, which has a Michelin green star for its zero waste locally sourced dishes cooked over charcoal. Gorgeous. I love some of these travel wellness destinations. I know many people that sometimes take their self away for a long weekend. I've seen it to Portugal, other places on a wellness retreat. And they spend four days or so completely unplugged and just relax, a proper relaxation and a rest. I'm not 100% sure I could do it because I like having a bit of both, but I am all for relaxation. I'm all for, you know, a spa trip. I love, you know, places that are warm and beautiful gardens. I like the idea of the kind of Middle Eastern one with, you know, having your Moroccan tea and all the f beautiful scents in the Middle East. I love all of that. So it definitely gives food for thought and a nice thing to imagine while you fall asleep and relax. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Ever so gently just apply some dream and dream dream oil to your hair. It's very subtle so you will not feel it. And I'm gonna gently massage your scalp to help you fall asleep, okay? So we're just gonna slowly but surely really try now and close. Dream of the wonderful things. Like, yes, we want you to remain sleeping. Just be asleep and taste. 